Guys, doing this is very important in reference to the crimes and the uh, insubordination of government and the violations of endangerment and vulnerability crimes of government. You know, there's a place I'm supposed to be at, my mother and father's mansions. That's documented, too. So in reference to these government people, you know, somebody will say, well, obviously they won't leave the person alone in reference to them harassing me and terrorizing my life. So, hmm, where do you think I'm supposed to be at? I'm supposed to be at my mother and father's mansions. But, of course, I have rights of freedom in America, too, and privacy rights. You know, my parents owned a lot of property in different cities and states. But the point of it is, is I want to be at my mother and father's mansions, of course. But the thing of it is, these people would say, well, they obviously won't leave the person alone. Yeah, well, how long has that been going on? Even back in the 80s, when they had kidnapped me before. They wouldn't leave me alone then either. And where was this place at? Oh, it was in Indiana where they had held me hostage. Mm. They wouldn't leave me alone then either. My mother filed lawsuits and had court cases against the state of Indiana and government people and some other people. So let's think about that. Hmm. What do you do when some people are terrorizing a person's life and they come from a wealthy family and they have other houses and properties in other cities and states that wouldn't treat them like this and wouldn't abuse them like this? Hmm. And don't forget, I was kidnapped from California. They kidnapped me. I was kidnapped from New York before. I was kidnapped from North Carolina before. There's even records in Chicago of people trying to kidnap me when me and my parents was in Chicago when I was younger. Now think about it. Hmm. Those people got arrested or people got arrested in some places. But when I got kidnapped from California, there was some people that had organized their position of kidnapping me with other people that was in California. Now, they need those people's names on the record and those people in court for how they negotiated their criminal activity of kidnapping me from California. There has to be court cases about that, too, and which people was in on it. And what have they stolen from me in the past 23 or 30 years? That has to be on the record, too. How many times they hired their friends and conspirators at companies of my mother and father. Illegally, they were doing hiring of criminals or people that would conspire against me. Those people need to be in court. The Human Resource Office needs to get ordered into court. Why they hired people that would conspire against me at my mother and father's companies, if that's what's going on.